As of that, this is Lazerboard and welcome to today's video guys. We are extremely, extremely excited guys. We are so close to the launch of the brand new Warzone map. We've been waiting for quite a long time and I am happy to tell you guys we are just a couple days from the release of the brand new Pacifica map for Warzone. I hope you guys are as excited as I am, but one thing that you guys are definitely going to want to know is what weapon is going to reign supreme when it comes to Warzone. Because as you guys may already know, during the Warzone days, the Growl was kicking a lot of butt. And then we had the MP5 kicking a lot of butt. And a lot of you guys didn't level those weapons up. And then when it came time to fight other people, the weapons were leveled up and you were getting melted and destroyed. That's why today's video is going to be focusing on the five most important weapons you need to level up right now to be ready for Warzone Pacifica. If this sounds like something you're definitely interested, a like would be greatly appreciated, guys. And most importantly, guys, Subscribe to the channel, turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss our Warzone coverage. We're going to have you guys completely covered, especially with all the locations, loadouts, and all that good stuff. So if you enjoy shooters as much as I do, you definitely want to subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on. Also, I have a question, guys, before we dive into the video like usual. What was your favorite weapon when Warzone launched for the first time? What weapon did you go to? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Alright, so now let's get started about weapons now. As you guys may already know, if you have played Warzone or if you're new to Warzone, the weapons that pretty much dominate Warzone are come almost in three categories. We have assault rifles, SMGs, and of course snipers or marksman rifles, which kind of all fall in the different in the same category. Now, today we're gonna be starting off with the assault rifle that I think is gonna be taking a lot, a lot of action. It's gonna be taking a lot of action. And that is the automaton. Now, this particular weapon, guys, is really good, and we're gonna be talking about why we believe it's actually pretty good. As you may already know, if you guys have done some digging around, you know that this weapon is one of the fastest assault rifles that has a fast RPM, which is rounds per minute. So that means your bullets are gonna be shoot be shot at a lot quicker rate, allowing you to kill and have a faster time to kill which is primarily almost always the best focal point when it comes to warzone is you want to kill enemies fast now one other thing that makes this weapon very viable is the ability to go to the magazine settings and within the magazine settings allowing us to increase the magazine of 25 up to either 45 all the way up to 75 or you can go 50 or you could just do regular 25 now why is this important well, whenever you're playing Warzone, you are going to be playing and fighting multiple enemies. Even if you're playing solo, there's times when you have to kind of do a 2v1 and you don't want to be reloading or caught reloading when you have to switch from one opponent to another. And that's why this weapon is going to be super strong and very effective. Another really cool thing about this particular weapon that other weapons don't have is the ability of being able to control the recoil very effectively as opposed to the other assault rifles. This has a very linear path, so you're going to want to make sure you always are constantly keeping that recoil down. And with the right attachments, this weapon almost becomes a very deadly laser beam that's going to be able to take out any foe, not only one, but multiple enemies at once, especially with that large magazine. And I think this is going to be one of the most used weapons currently right now in Warzone. And I think you guys need to start leveling up like right now. Staying within the assault category, guys, we are going to go with the AS-44. Now, this particular weapon, guys, once again, a very, very good weapon. The thing we like about this weapon, of course, once again, is the rounds per minute. It has really fast rounds per minute. Uh, we just saw the Automaton, which had 833 rounds per minute. This one in particular has higher RPM, which is 900 rounds per minute. That is pretty, pretty crazy. That means that this weapon will theoretically have a faster time to kill than the automaton. Even though I think the recoil pattern is a little bit more manageable with the automaton. But I still think this weapon, guys, here is going to be one of those sleepers that a lot of people are not going to be using. But a lot of people are going to gravitate to and see how effective and powerful this weapon is. Once again, just like the other weapon... We always like to take a look at what type of ammo and how much ammo we're able to carry to allow us to have multiple, uh, you know, multiple target op options whenever we're playing a, you know, duels, quads. So for this one, guys, we're able to go all the way up to a total of 60 rounds. So you just put in that drum. It's gonna, you're gonna lose a little bit of speed, but you're gonna gain a lot when it comes to the rounds per minute and amount of ammo you're gonna be able to carry, allowing you to switch from one target to another. Now this weapon. Put in the right hands and with the right attachments, it's going to be a deadly, deadly weapon. 
and one you need to level up. And I think a lot of people are going to sleep on this one. So if you want to be the person that's going to be killing people, and people are going to be asking, what gun is that? This is definitely the gun you want to level up. And next, guys, within the assault rifle category, guys, we're going to go to the Volk. Now, the Volk is actually a pretty interesting weapon because unlike the other two weapons we previously saw, the, the rate of fire on this weapon is not as high of a clip as 900 or 800. This actually has a 750 rounds per minute. This is really effective because this allows you to use this weapon at a better pace in the sense that you're not going to be able to have a high, really high recoil. You're going to be able to pace your shots a little bit more easier and stay on the target when you're aiming and they're moving. Now, this particular weapon, if you guys are familiar with playing at Warzone, if you ever saw one of my favorite weapons in Warzone was the Ram, and I thought the Ram was definitely one of the best weapons in the game. A lot of people were sleeping on it until we made a couple videos, a couple lots. People started picking it up and using the weapon really often. Now, I believe that this particular weapon will fall within this category where a lot of people that don't know how to manage the Rico will shy away from this weapon, but this weapon is going to be a laser, guys. It's going to be really on point. Things that I like about this particular weapon, guys, is the fact that it had, the round per minutes are a little bit slower than usual. Time to kill is going to be fast because it's going to hit really hard, and the ability of being able to go ahead and come in here and pop in 30 more additional rounds, kicking this magazine all the way up to 60, even if you guys don't like those rounds and you want to go to the 0.30s, you could go ahead and kick it up to 45. But I think 60 rounds is where you want to be, allowing you to kill multiple targets. Let's say 20 shots per target. You're allowed to kill three targets without without that reload. So this one here, the Volk, definitely one you want to level up. And if you like the Ram, this is definitely the one you want to go. Now, moving away from the assault rifle category, guys, we're going to go into the SMG category, which is another really category that i feel that a lot of people tend to sleep on because there are so many weapons and usually when there's one weapon that everybody's using a lot of people gravitate to that weapon and then they kind of leave the circle and kind of go experiment now i'm going to give you guys a bonus weapon after the two weapons i mentioned which i feel that what's going to happen with that a lot of people are going to get, use these two weapons i'm going to mention but when it comes to down to reality a lot of people are going to gravitate to this weapon so let's start out with the first one which is the sten this weapon right here, guys, is really, really good. Now, theoretically, guys, you could probably already play with this weapon if you wanted to in Warzone, but I think this weapon's going to be very, very viable when it comes to the game. A lot of the reason is because you're going to be able to manage the reco very effectively. It's not going to be that weapon where you kind of like are pushing a lot fast. It's going to kind of be like your MP7 uh, per se. And the reason I'm saying that is because the rounds per minutes are not that high, so that means you're not going to be shooting at a very fast clip rate and your time to kill is not going to be like extremely extremely fast but you're going to be able to do multiple targets with a nice active recoil control the rounds per minute for here guys are 667 and the beautiful thing about this once again is the magazine drum we're able to increase this all the way up to 50 rounds and so allowing us to kill multiple enemies with a minimal amount of bullets so let's say it takes you 50 bullets to kill one target you theoretically kind of get the idea of how many targets you could probably kill here without having a reload. We're looking like to kill about three targets without that reload. So very effective gun, regardless if you're playing solo, duels, or quads. It's a really good weapon and one that I think a lot of people are going to be using quite often. Now, the other weapon I want to talk to you guys about is not only the one that I feel like is going to be the main meta. I think that everybody's going to be using this gun. This gun's going to be like the one everybody's going to be rocking. And that is the, the shh, 41. I like to say shh, 41, but I know it's PBSH 41. Now, this particular weapon, guys, the reason why this weapon is going to be so effective is because the RPM, the rounds per minute, are really, really crazy. They go all the way up to 950 rounds per minute. Now, that's very, very crazy. Time to kill. It's going to be super duper fast on this weapon. And what makes this weapon even better is the fact that you're able to go all the way up to 71 mags, guys. 71. 71 rounds per magazine. That is crazy, crazy. And you're going to be able to kill multiple enemies at once. And this particular weapon is the one that you're probably going to want to make sure you use at a very close range. Since it has a really fast fire rate, you're going to be able to kill multiple targets really fast. So this is going to be your weapon that you want to push a lot with. Kind of think of it like the AS Val. It's going to be that type of weapon with a very big round of magazine, really high fire rate, really fast time to kill, and allowing you to kill multiple enemies at once. And those are my five main weapons that I would probably start leveling up right now. Now, I'm going to give you guys two sleepers that I think I should mention here. Actually, I can give you three sleepers. Number one, 
not gonna go too much into detail into these, but I feel like a lot of people are gonna be using it. So number one, if you have extra time and you have a one up, the MP40, this is definitely gonna be a staple in the game. It's gonna be really good. If the other ones get nerfed, and this is definitely gonna be getting a little bit of a buff, and a lot of people are gonna gravitate to this one. And the next one, guys, of course, I wanna recommend is the Tommy Gun. The Tommy Gun is actually gonna be one that's gonna be used by a lot of people. And this particular weapon, it's it might be it might be become meta. I'm telling you right now, it might become meta. I don't know if it will become meta just because of how long it takes to reload, but I think this would be really effective. And going back to the assault rifle category, guys, the weapon I think a lot of people are going to sleep on, but a lot of people are going to start using quite often is going to be this one right here. Let me go into the assault rifle category, and that is the bar. Now, the bar is a really good weapon. A lot of people don't have it in their high list or high category as weapon that's going to be very effective when it comes to Warzone. I think this weapon, guys, is going to be kind of like the growl of the game. Trust me, it's going to be very powerful. You're going to want to level this up. If you guys level up those five weapons first, then you're trying to find a weapon that you might want to be like, oh, I want to make sure I have this weapon in my arsenal just in case. You're definitely going to want to make sure it's the bar because the bar is going to be up in bars. And, and I mean, talking about dead people are going to be falling down on the ground. So there you guys have it. Those are the best weapons I believe that are going to be very powerful when it comes to Wars on Pacifica. If there's a weapon I did not mention here on the list, please let me know in the comment section down below. I didn't mention the LMG sniper rifles because I think they're more viable weapons currently right now in the game that are going to be a little bit more effective in that category. And usually when you think of Warzone, it's always going to be dominated by assault rifles and SMGs. So that's why I wanted to put these uh, kind of list on what I believe to be the best weapons. But like I said, if there's a weapon I didn't I didn't mention. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. Couldn't do this without you guys. So I want to say I really appreciate you guys checking out and checking out the video. If you want to show a little bit of love and support, don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Travelers, explorers, adventure seekers. With all travel bans to Caldera lifted, you may now book tickets to Caldera on Pacific Horizon Air. Caldera, a hidden paradise. Enjoy awe-inspiring landscapes. Visit sites from Caldera's storied past. Survey the land from above by climbing natural rock formations. Explore underground caves. Take a dip in a river or stream.